And for John and William, how was your experience judging the competition? Uh, okay, for me, it's like just now when you say that uh, I'm, I'm not an underwater photographer, so like it's not a career help, but I'm a publisher and, and media that I'm I'm in a part of the dive industry. So like I'm always believed that is a the industry is very small and we we promote diving is a the the our our main goal for everybody. So this kind of photo competition is always a very unique and the, on top of that what is the unique about this photo competition is that uh, every, everyone submit photographs from they can take picture from five years ago, three years ago, two years ago, but this photo competition is the one that the NLR that I I have a I have to experience myself in the uh, the, the last competition I said with Oliver and and Wayne and also the uh, Williams because of uh, people have to go there and they take the pictures daily basis and they come back so like this is a very good experience for the photographers who can be also meet a lot of other fellows photographer and they can learn each other from them. And that is where the experience is. And at the same time, also they can enjoy the uh, Philippine waters in that the, the beautiful waters. Like for example, like at last, the, the, the time of judges were, were the uh, Lauren. Lauren never thought of that, but when he really, he said that, wow, and Lauren, I thought of it's only a, a small fish because he, he interested in the big kind of things. And then he, he was amazing on the diving. So like, I, I think this is something that very unique that we, that we do. Um, this and the DOT and, and, and allow this photo competition is doing a, a people can be really take picture of life the daily basis to come back submit and uh, so like and also the learn from a fellow photographer and the judges or we do uh, we all promoting the uh, our main goal there is a diving and also we can be a networking as a the friendship that we build so like it's a lot of goal and a lot of a lot of memory on that so like it's a very very good initiatives and 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 in the past many years that is doing the right things and it's like it's, it's a, I'm very glad to hear that it will be back in December this year so I'm I'm thank you for that and how about you William would you like to share also your experience I my earliest years of diving I done a lot of diving in Bernardo and Lindsay <clears throat> and having seen the macro uh, creatures there. Uh, I was actually also quite blown away when I first came to Anila. Uh, a lot of animals that were rare in Manado and, 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 and Limbe, uh, uh, they are all over in, in, in Anila. It's easy to find and they are very easy to shoot in Anila. So that part actually uh, makes me like Anila a lot. Um, also, the early years of uh, competitions in Indonesia, I see, I see uh, participants helping one another actually in the water and also in selecting photos and things like this. Uh, but, you know, as it progressed, it becomes very competitive in Indonesia and that doesn't happen anymore. But when I came to Anilau, judging the two two competitions, the I think uh, 2019 and, and 2018, uh, I was I was very surprised to see this happening in Anilau again. Uh, uh, people helping one another, so that is a, a very encouraging thing to see. Uh, that's 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 what I I, I felt about Anilau. I think it's very very important. 